Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, um, the things I use during the springtime. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. So the things I use in the springtime, I'm going to start with my lotion first. Bam. <clears throat> Baby Johnson. Me and my whole family. <laughs> The whole household is just, like, addicted to this right here. Like, I mean, who wouldn't want to smell like a baby? Going to school, going to work, or whatever. Like, I feel like I do bath and body and Victoria's Secret and all other type of lotions or whatever. But I feel like if you can use this on a baby... If, if if it's safe enough to put it, if it's safe enough to put on a baby, then it's legit to put on an adult and be kid. So we gonna forever rock with this. Like we use this spring, we use this winter, summer, spring, fall. Like this is our to go. Like we ain't gonna never stop buying Johnson baby, but we we only buy this. I only buy this brand for the family, me and the family. So I highly recommend. Next, so face products. So I haven't did a um skin routine, but I am gonna do a, eventually do a skin routine on this channel, um because I have in the past broke out real bad. I have had a cystic, a cystic, a cystic acne, and I still have it. But um, my dermatologist, they gave me some antibiotics that I'm still taking. Like, I guess it's like a lifetime or whatever. And they gave me some topicals and some stuff to put on or whatever, whatever, whatever. That's, I see it's helping. Like, I, I literally don't have no bumps, but I do have, like, scarring, like, black spots. Like, it used to be worse. Like, it, it, it has gotten better. So, um... I use this um, Hydro Boost Exfoliating Exfoliating um, Cleanser by Neutrogena. And when I tell you guys, it has been the bomb for me. It has been amazing. So, um, I just started using this, like, the beginning of this year. Sometime in January. And this is my go-to. I'm not, I don't think I'm switching up anytime. Like, it, ex it, it exfoliates your skin like get all the gook out of there like the dead skin or whatever 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 off there like i try to use this like a good two times a week in the shower but um other than that i'll use like warm water just warm water on my face because i'm very sensitive and i i'm allergic to a lot of stuff i get allergic like allergic reaction to a lot of stuff like with scented scented perfumey stuff so I'm very sensitive so I have to use um water warm water for my face and like if I find if I can find something good that good that's good that worked for me I try to stick to it so I'm sticking to this next I sometimes use this like, it all depends, like, if my skin is dry or whatever. I've used this Al Alvino um, Perfectly Radiant Share Daily Moisturizer. I don't use that much. Like I said earlier, my skin is very sensitive, so I'll just put a little, just a little tab in the palm of my hands, and I'll rub it together, and i just put, like, a thin layer over my face. That works for me. Next on the list, Dove. As y'all can see, it's about gone. Like, I be killing this. But I don't I don't use this on my private area. Like, I'm very sensitive down there. Um, I just use, like, the regular white dial because I'm so sensitive down there. Or I'll use, like, the Walmart brand um, feminine wash that um, helps support the um, pH balance. So this right here, I love using this. Like it's an exfoliator for the skin on the body. It's Dove Gentle Exfoliating Nurturing Body Wash. Um, I I just can't stop using this. Like I try to use it every other day. Like I don't want to use it. Okay, 
I think I use it like every other two days because I don't want to strip my skin. But I really don't be scrubbing my skin like that. But I like to use this like with one of them um, body sponges that be at Target and at Walmart. So yeah, I put a little on there and I just rub it on my thighs and my feet. You know, go across my body with it, you know, to exfoliate. This is good. Highly recommend it. Okay, so bikini zone. As you guys can see, it is gone. <laughs> it is gone. Uh oh. It water? Water coming out for it? So I like to use the bikini zone anti bump shave gel. For bikini areas, it fight bumps and irritations for smooth skin. So I like to use this. As you can see, I do like it. I love it. So I use this round gear, like not just for spring. Like I use this all seasons. Um, like I said earlier, I'm very sensitive down there, so I don't shave my whole private part. I just do the bikini area, and um, yeah, and I use this under my arms. In my legs sometime and I have something else that I use to shave well I don't have to shave near when I don't feel like shaving I don't I don't use this on my private part now no this is just like for the underarms and the legs but the bikini zone I use this for like when I want to shape up my private part down there and you know get a little sexy look cut crease you know a little bikini thing going on or whatever whatever this is what i use because if i was to use like another type of shaving cream or whatever i will have like a break I, I will i would like have razor bumps so i have to use like a real real sharp razor real real sharp razor and when i do shave i have to go in the same direction like if i'm gonna go up i shave up if I'm going to go down, I have to shave down like in the same pattern. I can't just do zigzag, just shaving, shaving. Because if I do that, then I'll have like major, major hair bumps. And I don't want my JJ looking like a crunch bar. You feel me? We're not going to do that. We're not going to have that, okay? So I highly recommend Bikini Zone. I need to go back to store for some of that. You know what I'm saying? It's at Walmart. I think it's like for like 7 or $8, if I'm not mistaken. It'd probably be $5 or something. I forget. So this nail right here, I use the um, with rich cocoa butter and vitamin E. I use this like when I'm in a rush and I want to just like get the hair off my legs, my thighs, you know what I'm saying? My underarms, like I'll I use this, but it's kind of strong. I use it sometime. Next in line. Oh my God. <sighs> these witch haze wipes. I mean, if you guys ain't ain't rocking with these, something wrong. Like, oh my God. My my goodness. Like one, two, three. Like I I gotta keep I gotta keep stock up on these like real top because these, like I said, my my whole body is sensitive. And, you know, so these these work very good for me because it's alcohol-free. Like, did I say alcohol-free? Oily, irritated, red, damaged blemishes, or inflamed skin. Okay, these are cleaning cloths. I use these for makeup removal, remover. A makeup remover. And so, I don't use them like, I guess, cleaning cloths. I guess it's for makeup remove, removal. And I like to wear makeup. Okay, so I've been wearing makeup like for about a good going on two years or whatever. And I'm still playing in makeup and stuff like that. So as I keep continue to play in it and put it on, I'm I'm getting better. But when I'm getting off work, which I really don't put makeup on while I'm at work because of the type of job I do, but like, I might throw on a little mascara or do my little eyebrows or whatever, whatever. Or say if I don't went out on a date or hmm, went somewhere with my homegirls or whatever, whatever. And I come home, I'm exhausted. I don't feel like washing my face. Like, I don't feel like going to the sink. 
putting all that soap in my face, water and stuff like that, whatever, whatever. I just, I'm just tired or say I'm tipsy or I'm just tired. I just don't feel like, I just don't feel like doing the water, you know, you know, I just feel like changing my underwear and putting my pajamas on and get in my bed. So what I do is I'll get a couple of these. They are very convenient. <laughs> Cause sometimes I just be lazy, like for real, for real. They are very convenient. And so, you know, this is what I use to get all that gook off my face. Okay, moving on to the next. Okay, this witch hazel. It's the same thing, but not really, not necessary because this is the liquid and these are the cloths. Okay, I will use this to, um, as a toner. And I want to say, this is, it is a toner. It's for the face and body. It's for the face and the body. It's for oral, oily skin, irritated, red, damaged, blemished, or inflamed skin. And that's what I used to have. I don't know if y'all can see very well, but my face, I wish I had a before and after, but my face was very, very bad. Like I said, I had assisted acne, but this toner really, really helps. It really, really helps with um, removing the dead skin. So I like to get like a, a a white rag. I really don't do cotton balls, but I do like a white, a white clean face rag, and I'll just pat it, pat it on my face sometime in my routine during night, my nightly routine. And yeah, and spring. Let me tell y'all, man, my sinuses be acting up so bad in spring. So my allergies, my sinuses, it always come down on me. Like after I take a shower at night, and when I lay down, it's like I get like a a pressure headache up in here. So I use these, the allergy pills, Benadryl. I mean, come on. Who doesn't use Benadryl? Like, Benadryl is like for allergic reactions, allergies, um, for sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, itchy throat. I mean, come on. And this is the kind I use. I use the clear gel kind, the dye-free kind. And when I tell you, it's good. Awesome. You take this at night before you go to bed, wake up. You wake up like a whole new person. And the last thing on my list is is dun, 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 dun. wrap lotion i gotta have this i got like about five bottles upstairs i'm not gonna play with it like shawty when i wash my hair you know how when you wash your hair and then when you get out the tub i always seem to wash my face brush my teeth and wash my hair until i do everything into in the shower you feel what I'm saying? I don't take baths. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, I do showers. So, I just feel like since my day, like my every day of the week be so busy. Look at my hand fat, y'all. I'm finna do a, um, I'm finna do a, like a, um, a eating routine too on here. Like a meal prep. I'm gonna try to lose weight. Well, I am gonna lose weight and join the gym and, you know, that's for another video. Excuse me for the rambling. But anyway... So um I love this all olive olive oil. Um hand and shine wrap set mousse. I mean it do wonders, wonders like it, it helps like say if you wanna put on a wig, you got a sew in, you got braids, and you wanna help lay down your flyaways. Get this. This this is marvelous. I mean, this is this is the bomb. I don't too much like all the other setting lotions and mousses or whatever, whatever. It's like, it give like that after consistency of like stickiness or guck or goop or something like that. But this right here, it don't leave no residue, no whiteness, no flaky, no nothing. I highly, when I say I highly recommend this, I highly recommend this. Like when you getting out the shower and you washing your hair and then when you dry your hair and you're trying to comb through your hair and it's kind of tangled. Get this. Put a little some of this on your, the palms of your hand and rub it around your, and rub it all over your head before you blow dry and comb. Then you know, 
it'll loosen it up and it'll also it's also good to make um it also good to um to do twists and dreads and finger waves and stuff like this like I, when i tell you this is my go-to when i tell you this is the best thing that ever happened to me with hair products for real for real so yeah get you some of this it'll change your life so that's it for my spring things that i like during the spring or all around the seasons or whatever, whatever, whatever. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell, and share. Bye.